Welcome to 60 Seconds and the Final Prayer for Friday, May 15, 2020. Today at 5 o'clock at St. Paul's Cathedral, we ordained a new deacon, Michael Kelly. He's been here each summer giving a presentation uh, and an uh, outstanding candidate. Uh, and he'll be ordained a priest probably within the year. So uh, very happy for him, for his family, and our church. Next week at this time, at 5 o'clock, we'll be ordaining a deacon, transit a deacon who uh, is going to be a priest as of 5 o'clock next Friday. In today's context, we can't have big masses, but it is live streamed. You can go back and see Mike Kelly's ordination on YouTube today, and uh, you can uh, be in part of the live stream next Friday or see it afterwards at 5 o'clock. That will be Edgar Quiroga. Edgar came here once uh, to give a pitch for the seminarians and one of the finest preachers I've heard in this church. So I, I'm excited that he'll be uh, joining us in the priesthood. So I'm sorry I couldn't be at, at any event, but their guest list is very tiny. Okay, so there's that. I want to thank also the uh, uh, Senor de la Misericordia group, the Divine Mercy group, not only for these beautiful plants they've been putting behind the altar, but outside, uh, you can see here in this photo how they've decorated a Mary shrine for the month of May. So there's a high, small group, but they're a high energy and creative and very generous with their time, treasure, and talents. So thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, veterans, in order to get your photos included in the preparation we do for the Mass, uh, those who, excuse me, not veterans, those who have died in foreign war, in wars. So members of the armed service who have died, we're asking that some of you give us their photos. Just go into our uh, internet page, so stjosephsunnyside.org or sanjosesunnyside.org, and you'll see there's a link to put the photos up. And we'd like to include those in the Mass of the 24th of May. That's at our regular Mass schedule because the following day is Memorial Day. And Memorial's a day when we honor our members of armed forces who have died while they are in military service. So don't send us photos of people who are in military service or have been or are still alive. We honor them in the fall. But this is for those who have died while in military service. And it could be not just only in the United States. I the blessing, I gave a blessing for mothers on uh, Sunday at all the masses, Mother's Day. And I repeated it yesterday because I'm not sure all of you who watch this are also involved in our Mother's Day masses. Uh, here's another prayer for Mother's Day. This is a little more lighthearted. Uh, but uh, again, thank you mothers for all you do. It's a prayer that's uh, been adapted uh, from an unknown source. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay. This blessing is for all the mothers who have sat up all night with sick toddlers saying, it's okay, honey, mommy's here. This blessing is for the mothers who gave birth to babies they may never see, and the mothers who took those babies forever to be their own children. This blessing is for all the mothers who attended ball games, recitals, rehearsals, and so forth, and who said, oh, I wouldn't have missed it for the world, and meant it. This blessing is for all the mothers of Kosovo who fled the night and can't find their children or can't feed their children. Creator God, what makes a good mother anyway? Is it patience, firmness, a soft lap? Or is mothering what is in her heart? Is it the ache she feels when she watches her child disappear down the street, walking to school alone for the very first time? The jolt that takes her from sleep to dread, from bed to crib at 2 a.m. to put her hand on the back of a sleeping baby. The need to flee from wherever she is and hug her child when she hears news of a school shooting, a fire, a car accident, a baby dying. Yes, it is so. So this blessing is for all the mothers who sat down with their children and explained all about making babies, and for all the mothers who wanted to but just couldn't. 
This blessing is for all the mothers who yell at their kids at the grocery store with frustration and despair. This blessing is for the mothers who show up at work with milk stains on their blouses and diapers in their purse. This blessing is for all the mothers who teach their sons and daughters to cook, to speak, speak up with pride. This blessing is for mothers who put pinwheels, teddy bears, or flowers on their children's graves. This blessing is for mothers whose children have gone astray, who haven't the words to reach them, and yet had never put them from their heart. This blessing is for new mothers stumbling through diaper changes and sleep deprivation, and mature mothers learning to let go, for working mothers and stay-at-home mothers, single mothers and married mothers. And this blessing is for all of us who will move beyond sentiment into actions which support mothers and mothering persons in all of their life-giving and life-nurturing roles. Amen. O oh, mothers, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come to all of you and be with you forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us, and thanks, moms, again.